What do you want? I didn't think I would ever see you again. He's left me. Who? Emil. Mr. Miller. Miller? That night I was to go out with you, I, I went with him instead and he asked me to marry him. He had seven pounds a week in prospects and he said we needn't wait, we could be married in a registry office. Go on, what happened to you? I can't tell you. He was frightened. Why was he frightened? Because I told him a baby was coming. And was it? Or rather, is it? Yes. it from him as long as I could, then I had to tell him. If you'd only heard the things he said to me, I found out precious quick he was no gentleman. He me without a penny, he hadn't paid my rent, and I hadn't got the money to pay it. I wouldn't go back to him now, not even if he was to come and ask me on his bended knees. And he wasn't earning the money he said he was. You want me to go to Birmingham and see what I can do? Oh. He'll never come back now. I know him. But he's got to provide for you. He's your husband, isn't he? Didn't marry me. Couldn't. He had a wife already. Then what made you go away with him? Oh, I don't know. Made me laugh, that could have been it. I'd like to help you. I'm going to. You mustn't think I'm not grateful. You're a good friend, Philip. <laughs> what? I called you Philip. May I? Doc, look at me. A doc told you I'd be up and around in no time, and am I? Have you seen my sticks? See my drumsticks anywhere? You know what I'm going to get for this little dog? A, a little raincoat, like for when it rains. Plaid, maybe. Or maybe all yellow, huh? Where are my drumsticks, Sash? How'd they get up here? You liked that, didn't you? Right? Zosh, I never keep him way up here. Drank it all up, didn't you? Zosh! I put him there. I stood right up, I walked right over, and I put him there, all right? No, no kidding. I didn't... Maybe by when she was straightening up for me. I don't know. Stop picking on me. What about my pastime? What did you say this is for? Sit here all the time, you don't even talk to me. If we got any more beer, I'd like some. Be a bloat, Zosh, when you can't exercise. Here, pick a card. Everything's no good for me. I, I'm only 25, and it's like I'm a whole lady already. Is it my fault I can't exercise? You want to pick a card, or don't you want to pick a card? No, I don't want to pick a card. All I want is, is just a little... A little what, Sash? Oh, just a little... A little beer, a little fun, a little anything. I can't dance no more, I can't swim, I can't even drink beer. I don't even know what kinds I got anymore. What other kinds I got these days, Frankie? All right, pretend like I ain't here. That's what you're all the time wishing anyway, and I got killed that night. I don't wish any such thing.
I really am very, very much impressed. They're your children, Captain. My dear, is there anything you can't do? Well, I'm not sure I'll make a very good nun. Oh. Well, if you have any problems, I'd be happy to help you. Number five. Oh, yes. Eight, two, four, six. Oh! Mm. Number two. Baron and Shredo, do you mind if we stop now? We're tired. Oh, whatever you want, dear. Mm -hmm. We'll do it again tomorrow. The country's so restful, isn't it? Have some lemonade. Oh, there must be an easier way. <laughs> I get a fiendish delight thinking of you as the mother of seven. Mm -hmm. How do you plan to do it? Darling, haven't you ever heard of a delightful little thing called boarding oh, school? Oh, there must be some place better to go. <laughs> Don't worry, darling. Yes, yes Gail. It's no use. You and I. I'm being dishonest to both of us. And utterly unfair to you. When two people talk of marriage. No, don't. Don't say another word, Georg, please. Uh, you see, uh, there are other things I've been thinking of. Fond as I am of you. I really don't think you're the right man for me. You're, uh, <laughs> you're much too independent. And I, I need someone who needs me desperately. Or at least needs my money desperately. I've enjoyed every moment we've had together. I do thank you for that. Now, if, um, if you'll forgive me, I'll go inside, pack my little bags, and return to Vienna where I belong. And somewhere out there is a young lady who I think will never be a nun. Auf Wiedersehen, darling. To Stephen Rojak, boy crusader. Oh, there's this man we all know in Malta. He's got a butterfly tattooed on him. He's really quite terrifying. Well, anyway, the reason it's good knowing him is because if you need anything, anything at all, he can get it for you. I mean, if you need an abortion or some uh, Spanish fly or snow or a friend for the night or anything like that, you know, he can get it for you. Well, so anyway, lover, I asked him how much it would cost me to have you done away with, and he said, well, that depends on uh, how you want it done. I mean, if you want it done with poison or a gun or a knife or what. And so I said, in the cheapest possible way. And so then he said, well, you got to tell me all about him, which I did. And then he said, well, uh, he's not very important. I don't think there'll be any big fuss about it at all, so I'd say about $350. And I said, oh, no, he's not worth that much. And uh, so he said, well, uh, I could have it done for you for nothing. It's just sort of an accommodation. Well, I said, well, uh, I said, well, I don't think so, not this time, but uh, next time I come back to Malta, maybe I'll uh, bring him with me. And uh, so you see, that's how much you're worth, lover. And uh, besides, uh, he didn't think I ought to be married to you anyway. I'm getting to you just a little bit, aren't I, honey? Oh, once you crack, you go like a dam. God, you're a weakling. <laughs> oh, sometimes, sometimes I lie here and wonder how you ever became a war hero. You're such a whimpering baby, 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 baby. Oh. Oh, I'll bet those commies were whimpering worse even than you were the day you won the Medal of Honor. Huh. That must have been quite a sight. You whimpering, and they whimpering. 
And you go and pip pop pip with your little gun. Hey. Hey. How often do you tell that story these days, huh? 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 I want a divorce. And the daughter of the eighth richest man in the whole U.S.? Bitch I am, but rich I am. Sayed, I am. Yeah. 